Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a bit of a different kind of video. Um, I got a comment <clears throat> on my video here by Nightmare Zero, and he was asking about what mods that I use in Skyrim. So the first part of this video is going to be going over all the mods that I use. Um, I could have typed them all out, but I think that would have taken quite a while. I have a lot of mods, <laughs> and some of them are from Nexus mod manager and some of them are in the steam uh, community whatever it's called I, f I forget the name right now uh, the first part of this video is going to be me going over the mods I'm not going to be whispering in this and the second part of the video will be something I've been meaning to get around to will be um, doing a review of the microphone that I've been using for the past uh, month or so I guess but like I said first we're going to be going over these mods that I have I was actually thinking of just uh, writing them all out, but <laughs> there's so many of them it would have taken forever to do it like that, so I think this will be a much easier way to do it if this thing will will decide to load. Um, if you came to this video for the microphone review, I'm going to put a link in the description that will take you right to that part of the video if I remember, hopefully I remember. Alright, so this is Nexus Mod Manager. Um, this is very handy if you want to install mods for Skyrim. Let me go to this website real quick. I almost said real quick. Real quick. So uh, nexusmods.com slash Skyrim. And you can look up mods on that website and they have a cool little button on there that'll say download with Nexus Mod Manager. And then it'll come up here and then you can install it right from here so it's it's really cool it makes installing mods really really easy wow that looks amazing I'm not sure I don't know about that and there's the cat knocking something over anyways uh, let's go ahead and go over mods don't pay attention to this this doesn't really go into detail about what I have or anything um, alright so the first is birds of Skyrim and you can look up the uh, name, like the author, and if you wanted to get the mod for yourself, you can just go to that website that I just showed you, and you can search for the author or search for the name, and it'll be really easy to find. Uh, birds of Skyrim is a very simple mod. All it does is put birds in the game, and they you can kill them and stuff, but they don't really do anything other than just create atmosphere. Uh, craftable unenchanted unique armors and weapons, craftable dragon priest masks. That makes it so you can have unenchanted dragon priest masks. So if you're like me and you like to have a character where you can alter his look a lot and enchant the masks with anything you want, that's what that is for. So you can just have them uh, without the default enchantments and you can enchant them with your own crap. Whatever you want to use. And I think... Uh, both of these are the same type of thing. This the uh, bone hawk ring. I don't know why I have two of them. There's got to be a reason for it though. I'm thinking that they're both called the same thing, but like one's bone hawk and one's the um, vampire armor. Maybe I really don't know. But that's the same type of deal as this one up here. Friendly guard helmets. That makes it so that the guards' helmets don't like enclose, like enshroud their entire face. Immersive armors, these are just other armors that, that they put in the game. Uh, they're really well done. I like them a lot. Uh, Donna Hope music add-on adds some new music that I'm a fan of. Visible windows improves the window textures, cloaks, Skyrim, self-explanatory. So is lush grass, lush trees, and water. Water just uh, makes water look better, and that's the same thing that both of these do. Um, most of these will have some sort of effect on your FPS though so keep that in mind uh, better fast travel okay this one's one that I use for immersion better fast travel puts more carriages and ships in the game so that you don't have to fast travel if you don't want to they put carriages in every town that's convenient to go to basically and the uh, normal game doesn't have that like some of the towns will have it, some of them won't. It's kind of hit or miss, but this puts them in all the places. It's customizable, too, so you can say uh, how much you want it to cost and all that. And Thieves, Thieves Guild, 
door and fast travel. Do I have the frickin' sound set to the wrong thing? I do. It doesn't really matter for this video, though. Because I'm not going to be using the sounds for the uh, thing. I'm just going to turn this sound off real quick, though. Um, this adds a door that goes straight to the, uh, straight to the Thieves Guild part of the base, like, normally you'd have to go into that crypt door and you have to wait for the stone thing to roll back, and then you have to go through the underbelly place. This puts a quick little trap door, so you can go straight to the Thieves Guild from, uh, the outside of that little sanctuary thing. And when it comes to hairs, this is the stuff you want. This is what you were mentioning. Um, Apache Sky Hair is what I use, and you'd need the overhaul, and then there's a separate one that puts them on NPCs, and you also need to download the patch. They have a patch for it, and if you don't install the patch, and you just use this and this, uh, the mod will make the game very laggy, and that's not good. It took me forever to figure out that there's this simple little patch that you have to install to make it work right. Uh, immersive Thunder, that makes the thunder sounds better. Lore-based loading screens. Kill them generals. Generals are no longer invincible. Uh, map markers for the houses. Uh, Skyrim logo, that just... I don't even remember what that does. It's I think it improves the uh, menu Skyrim logo. No more blocky faces, that improves the... Um, I don't really remember what that improves, but it makes the, it, I mean, I could say it makes the faces less blocky, but that sounds stupid because it's right there. But yeah, it, um, adds more depth to the faces in Skyrim so that they, uh, aren't as blocky. <laughs> That's the only way I can think to describe it right now. Vampire, vampire Lord Immune Transformation just makes you immune while you're transforming, so... Um, uh, spoiler alert, by the way. <laughs> so that when you're transforming, they can't just come kill you. Vampire Lords can loot and activate. Self-explanatory. Better females. That just adds makeup to the females. Makes their face look more attractive. Uh, vampire armor. I think that's so you can make, um, uh, craftable vampire armors. And I think it also adds cloth versions for, uh, for magic users. I'm not really sure though. Um, HUD, that just makes the HUD smaller, which I like. Quality world map, just improves the textures of the world map. Sky UI. This is a big one that I use. Sky UI, I'll come back to that. Uh, realistic smoke numbers, self explanatory. Sky UI is, uh, you can see it a lot if you watch my Skyrim videos already. It makes the UI a lot more interactive. It makes it so you can search for items. It makes it so you can do a whole lot of crap, actually. There's so many features in that. Um, the main reason I use it is because it uh, makes the UI a lot smaller. Like, normally, there'd be items in your inventory, and you could only view like 10 items at a time before you have to scroll down. This one will make it smaller and more compact so that you can look at a lot more items at once. Uh, for this, you have to install Skyrim something. SKSE? Skyrim Script Extender. Yeah, that's right. SKSE. You would need that to run this. And I think that's the only mod I have that, uh, that does need that extension. I also use the high res texture pack. These are the official add-ons from Bethesda. Um, they make the game look a lot better. Let's see if I got anything else on here that I haven't gone over yet. Oops, no, leave that on. I don't think I, I forgot anything. Um, let's look in here real quick though. Uh, where is it? Yeah, you can see all my games, that's right. Alright, so let's see here. Data files. Skyrim Workshop, I think that's... Um, how do you get to the things you have installed from the Skyrim Workshop? Subscribed. 
That's it. Subscribed. So you have to subscribe to him on the scam room. <laughs> on the Skyrim workshop to get him to uh to to work. Um unenchanted dragonborn items. This does the same thing as as this for the dragon priest masks. It just takes the dragonborn items and makes them so you can makes it so that you can create them yourself, craft them, so you can put your own enchantments on them. And that is all of the that concludes the list of all of the mods that I use for Skyrim. Um, I actually had to go through all my mods and delete some of them because they just weren't um, friendly for Let's Play, some of them. Uh, but these are the ones I stuck with, the ones, they are the ones that I liked the most. Now, Hearth Fires and I think, yeah, Dawn Guard and Dragonborn, those are all official expansions. I'm really not sure what uh, what the update is. Oh, that must be official too because it's from the same author as Dawnguard. So yeah, I don't know what's an update for. Must be an update for the simple uh, first Skyrim. If you want to know anything else about what I use on Skyrim, just ask. Leave me a comment. I might just respond to your comment and I might make a video responding to that comment um, just looking at all my games real quick <laughs> now, now let's go to the microphone real quick all right okay so this is the microphone I got I've been using it I think about a month but that's a complete guess they call it the world's quietest studio microphone let me check the time real quick 1157 cool they call it the world's quietest studio microphone, and I've come to see that it is actually pretty quiet. There's still some background noise in ASMR videos, and the only reason I can uh, the only reason I can think for that being so is because I am whispering, and when you're whispering, you have to crank up the uh, the volume when you're editing these things or your voice will just sound so soft and you have to do that while it's still keeping a distance certain distance away from the microphone so you don't blow into the mic too much and it makes like a breathy sound that I don't really like because it like pops your ears if you're uh, or not pops your ears but it buffers your ears if you're listening with headphones so I've come to see that it is pretty quiet it it's very quiet. It's a lot quieter than my blue microphone was. It is a professional grade studio microphone. And this is actually a bundle pack. And this is the way that I bought it. It comes with the microphone and there's a picture of it right there. It's a uh, mono microphone, by the way. Only picks up from the front. There's no um, no going side to side. And this one, like you can with the blue microphone, which is a stereo microphone, because it will sound the same no matter what. Here's a picture of the inside. Now this is all that it comes with. Um, the microphone cable, if you're going to plug this into your PC to record like I do, you will need a preamp. And what you do is you plug the microphone cable from your microphone into the preamp and then there will be a spot on the back where you can plug the preamp into your computer and then that makes it very easy to record your voice um, now the only drawback with that is here I have my true studio program which is for my sound card and on here they do have something called crystal voice which is supposed to add noise reduction which is um it cuts a, yeah it's pretty self-explanatory actually um, if you listen to my last minecraft video where I was using my headset microphone this is the reason I was using it is because it has noise reduction and that's what cut out all the or at least a good amount of the background noise and because you're plugging it into the USB port it doesn't let you use the noise reduction on this software which is the only drawback really uh, there might be a way to do that, like a, a MIDI to a, to a line-in chord. I, I don't know, though. 
Um, but this comes with the this cable, the microphone, and a pop filter, which the pop filter uh, is screwed into the shock mount, which is very nice. And the only thing you would need to buy is the boom stand and the preamp. And my preamp came with the USB cable, so it was very easy to put into the computer and all that. So, um, two twenty nine altogether, kind of pricey, but in my opinion, if you're going to be doing videos like this, it is well, well worth it. Uh, it's a great microphone. Just whispering into it all the time doesn't really do it justice because I feel like you can't really, uh, can't really. Uh, give a good idea of what the microphone really sounds like when you're just whispering because it, it just doesn't pick up all the things it doesn't uh, sound as good as when you're using your normal voice you can't really notice the difference as much but I've been very happy with it and that concludes everything that I wanted to do in this video so thank you for your comment nightmare zero that's it <laughs> Thank you for your comment. It allowed me to uh, finally do this microphone review that I've been wanting to do. And obviously, for the review, you can hear my voice right now. And I am also, I don't know if you can see this right here. Uh, I don't know if it pops up on your screen, but it's on my screen. This is Bandicam, and I'm rec I record all my videos with Bandicam rather than using Audacity. And I know a lot of people frown on that. But I found there's really not that much of a difference in quality for me. And when I record it with Bandicam, I don't have to worry about matching the video up with the sound. It does it automatically. So that's really nice. It takes out a lot of um, a lot of time and frustration trying to get everything to match up correctly. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will try to make my video, my next video, Skyrim and then do a Dark Souls video after that because I know that I've been lagging behind on this too. I've been very into doing Minecraft videos uh, recently. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And I want to say goodnight for now, but I'm not whispering in this, so you're probably not being put to sleep by it. But I will see you soon.